Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Uh-oh, who's oh, here? Oh, yes! Who's here? June 20th, Fave Manor med Meditation Room, yes. Hey, it's you, pal! So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. <laughs> Just this once, I, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey! You're a cute kid! <laughs> I'm not scary! Honest! Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. <laughs> hey, I know! I'll show you something cool! How's this? It's a real, genuine what? pistol! What?! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe! What are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what the heck, Gumshoe? This is how murders happen! <laughs> <laughs> what about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You've got proof? Yeah, pal. That puffy-haired photographer is gonna testify tomorrow. Again? He must be talking about Lada. Oh. Actually, speaking of Lada... Wait, there's two puffy-haired redheads. Maybe it'll be the other one. Too. Okay. Oh. Uh, she has red hair. Okay, I guess it is a little reddish. Yeah. It's got red hair. I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at that murder scene inside. Lot of hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone over the Maya Faye could have done it. Okay, so here's the thing. This is by far the biggest thing that bugs me about this case, and I'm just like, this is stupid. If what they're saying is true, and like Maya channeled the spirit, the spirit got mad and killed the guy, then Maya's innocent. Because she didn't kill the guy, the spirit did. However, not everyone believes in spiritual matters. Okay, but that's the angle the police are going for. Okay. Which means, literally, Maya is the one person who absolutely could not have done it, because she literally didn't even exist during the channeling. It's well, but at the same time, it's like there's literally no one else who could have done it. But Maya shouldn't get punished because she didn't murder I the know, guy. I know. I I think it's somewhat dumb, but it. Uh, That's for me. I think I think the police is like acknowledging every aspect, and then they're trying to figure out what the judge is going to figure out as well. Because sometimes judges won't take that. Right. I don't know. I, there's one case later on in the series that people were like, this is stupid, this should not even be in court. I'm like, oh, this is stupider. This literally, like... Okay. Bleh, I, I don't like that at all. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? About Dr. Gray, the victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year, and... Huh? I could've sworn I had. I cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets, and boy are those big. Hmm, it looked really interesting too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Sure. Before we forget, yeah. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey! It's that news story! The one about the malpractice suit! Fourteen patients died and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal. This is for you. Alright, thanks. Newspaper clipping 2 added to the court record. Thanks for clipping it for us. Alright, newspaper clipping 2. Mimi Miney, nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. Oh, for a second I was like, oh, we've got a ghost here! <laughs> but, No, okay. Mimi. Eeny, Mimi, Miney, Mo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, where's their brother, bro where's their brother Mo? Bro Mo? <laughs> Maybe we'll see him in the next case. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> About Maya's trial tomorrow, I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. 
All right, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. He should be in jail! In jail! What? Von Karma? Why? <laughs> Why? He should be punished in jail for causing the death of, like, everything. <laughs> <laughs> the death of everything. I funny. told you there would be spoilers. What Man the? We're, oh. Okay, let's just listen. Manfred von Karma, he was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. <laughs> he never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. Wait, what if there's a second prosecutor named von Karma, and it's like, oh, here's von Karma, and it's just like another dude that's like, hey guys, my name's von Karma. <laughs> the horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Wait a sec, but didn't Von Karma stand trial and... That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. So you were kind of there! <laughs> <laughs> successor? Well, okay. Is it like his son? <laughs> so, um, who is this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Arnie's calling everything. His this kid, is great. his kid became a prosecutor real young, like thirteen, and hasn't lost a Wait, trial is since. Is he like this ridiculous fifteen-year-old? <laughs> That's what they call a prodigy, pal. This hmm. is amazing. Kid, huh? Wait a sec. Thirteen? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of thirteen? I mean, a prodigy like that? I would have heard something about. Oh no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. Uh, that country's got a lot of stuff, and it's a great place to develop a person's talents. <laughs> Shout out to Germany. Oh boy, Germany! <laughs> Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh, still, and all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Yeah, I just quickly realized if you didn't play the first game first, yeah. that would've- Stop it! Get over it, Phoenix. That person is already gone. What? What? He did say he was resigning at the end. Okay, but like, is he dead? Like, I don't know, I feel like, okay. You don't know, but I do know. <laughs> right. I feel like, assuming he's alive or assuming whatever, maybe, I don't know, maybe like, Edgeworth's a tea person. I could see Phoenix Wright drinking coffee. Maybe they could like hang out sometime. <laughs> Go to Starbucks! Like, I don't know, like... Edgeworth at Starbucks, that would be great. Yeah. Well, no, he's I'd like a plain black coffee, please. With extra black. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's my attorney's badge. Haha, <laughs> good one, pal. You're always good for a laugh with your little badge. But a real man, a real man has a police badge. Uh, um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I was wondering if I could see it, too. Ah, no, it's okay. It's not that important anymore. Come on, Phoenix, you never resist a chance to show off your badge. Oh wait, he already did this. The nurse that killed the patients ended up getting killed in an accident. Dr. Gray wound up on a lot of tabloid shows because of that. Now, there was a smart man. I'm sure that was a great way to advertise for his client clinic. Wow. <laughs> uh-huh. Scaring people off is always the best way to get more patients. <laughs> Ooh, I'd better shut my mouth. Uh, what? I'm not gonna give you any information about evidence, pal. Uh oh. That's a shame. So, about this key... Hey, is that your house key or something, pal? Come on, does this look like a house key to you? Then what's it for? It's... Hmm, actually, I should probably keep that a secret. It's my bicycle key. <laughs> oh, nothing special, huh? <laughs> that was, bicycle that was great. key. I'm sorry fiends had to turn out this way, pal. It's too early to give up. No one's proven her guilty of anything yet. Look, even if there was a zillion of you, pal, this is a case you... <sighs> now, why is he sighing? I don't have anything to tell you about this one, pal. You don't have to be so mean about it. Not. A. Word. <laughs> hey! Don't look at me like that! That girl has one intense stare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she takes after her mom that way. Oh, so that's Little Pearl. Do you know her? Only that Miss Faye was looking for her earlier. Something about being worried that she'll end up talking to that weird guy. So, you have any idea who this weird guy is, pal? 
Nope, not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> That's Maya's aunt, right? I got to eat one of her giant strawberry desserts earlier. It was really good. Aw, I didn't get to eat one yet. <laughs> Neither did I in real life. Oh, come on, you know. Here's the thing, at least Mata actually witnessed the murder this time. <laughs> Boy, do I look scary in this picture. I guess if I want people to stop thinking cops are scary, I have to change myself. Gotta smile! Gotta smile! There's that classic gumshoe goofy smile again. It's good to have as a policeman. <laughs> what? Come on, you could have told me at least a little bit about that chick. No! <laughs> I hate her. Wow. <laughs> Let's move. Ooh! Curious to June see what 20th, she'll say. Faye oh, Manor she's Cyber Room. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Aww, she's like totally cute! Is she like your daughter? What? what? No! How old do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, I think, is 24, 25, and Pearl is 8, so yeah. <laughs> it could be possible, yeah, not really. But probably not. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, totally don't know him. that you can see it can't you mr nick you can see the lock on that person's heart i was wondering what the heck was happening i was like yeah. um <laughs> did she just like get murdered okay this makes... this is the cool new gimmick that they had to the game okay. huh what this is the power of the magatama only you can see these psychic locks mr nick psych locks huh the more someone wants to hide their secret the more locks you'll see if it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? There's only one on that secret? I feel like there'd be a bunch. Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. And let's remove the lock! I have no idea what she's talking about, but guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, It'll I, hurt I've got to start somewhere. Is the lock going to start eating us? <laughs> it's going to start getting rid of our penalty meter, oh, essentially. okay. Let's give this psych lock thing a try. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so it's kind of like it's court periods like, outside of court a It's also bit. kind of like the um, lie detector in Guilty Party. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Alright, if you want to use it, you got to present... The victim. Eeny miny, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you! Like, how many times do I have to, like, repeat myself? If you're, like, oh, so totally sure, then where's your, like, proof? While it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility existed for now. Hmm, so something that shows a possible connection between Eni and Dr. The Gray. obvious is the newspaper clipping, but I know you're going to get it wrong. <laughs> you know me well, Marty. <laughs> Here's your proof. Like, what is that? Ouch. I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it, huh? Pearls did warn me. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you, she said. If I don't have enough evidence, I should probably stop. I should take another look at the court record and think it through once more time. Yeah, so when you get to the evidence here, you can press bad stop. Okay. And you'll go out. Also, if you lose all of your penalty meter here, you won't actually have a game over, but rather, like, your penalty meter will just have one HP at it. And it'll for and you'll have to redo the whole Cyclops series, essentially. Okay. I love the music here, by the way. Newspaper clipping 2 about Mimi Miney. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident. Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Miney. Miney? Miney! <laughs> oh, she's <is> French. <laughs> Miney is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So you noticed, she, she was my older sister. 
I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister, was she a nurse? Perhaps a Dr. Clay's... Dr. Clay? <laughs> Dr. Clay! <laughs> Dr. Clay! <laughs> Perhaps a Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray Surgical Clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him for your sister. Stop eating your hat. <laughs> like, come on now. Eenie it's money. like Waluigi eating his racket. <laughs> Maybe a little healthier, I don't know. <laughs> Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My... My sister's name was Mimi Miney. Oh, she looks like a pleasant person, oh doesn't she? Holy cow. Look at her eyes. <laughs> well, okay. We've never seen Eenie's eyes open. That's true. So, she may look just as ugly. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we that's why Eenie always keeps her eyes closed. Perhaps. <laughs> she was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, so, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice? Yeah, like, I think it was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Hence, only one lock. <laughs> Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psych lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock this time was pretty easy, but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Watch, there's gonna be like a dude that has like 50 locks. <laughs> You'll be like, who can? That would, that would be like Aladdin. My heart. <laughs> Aladdin? <laughs> if you had like Aladdin in the game. He's lied a lot. Let's he be has honest. lied a lot. <laughs> Get chats, but uh, I'm actually your prince. <laughs> 50 <laughs> <son> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> That would be ridiculous. Do, 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 do. It's probably not 50, but I'm gonna guess like max is 5. <laughs> Spot on, actually. Five, oh, really? Five is the max. Yes. Oh. June... That, like, I was like, any more than five would be a bit ridiculous. Any more than five wouldn't fit on the DS screen, basically. That's true. <laughs> June 20th, Karain Village. Mr. Nick? Hmm? What's wrong? I have never left Karain Village. R really? Wow, that's, um, pretty amazing. You're going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Uh, can't you come with. Hey, wait! Oh, yeah. We, hey, Morgan, guess what? We kidnapped your daughter and took her on a two-hour <laughs> train ride. Yeah, that would go over That'd real great. great. She ran off. Again. Well, I know Innie's secret now, but... I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. Maya! We're Maya. coming! My June 20th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? Oh, Phoenix! That voice! It's not that! It's... <laughs> it's Mia! M Mia! Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Imagine this being the first time you'd ever heard or seen me. I'm like, what? Right, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> but then it gets to this. Hey, you remember me from the first Mia. time? Mia. She's Maya's older sister and my mentor. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But... Whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it gets bad. Mia. You can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. 
This is not good advice. <laughs> In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show to a client, Mr. Phoenix, right? But... So tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister's in a lot of trouble again. I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is? Tell me, please. Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acqu uh, acquittal? Yeah. Acquittal of your client. I have never seen the word acquittal before. I think it should have been the first game. Didn't it? Didn't? I don't think so. Smile, you're on candid camera. Maya's like, come on. Phoenix. No clues here. That's the guard. Come on. This guard monitors the visitor's room. I wonder if he's bored. Not that I can tell since he never looks over this way. That's his job. He's not supposed to listen in. Oh, actually, let's present stuff first, because I don't think we'll get... Actually, no, we will. Never mind. Nope, not examine. Talk, please. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Y yes? Mediums can't have dreams. Can't have dreams? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that's impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does that mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. Evidence? How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. It is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. <laughs> really? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright, I'll show it to her, the key I hold. I wonder what piece of evidence we have to present. Probably the attorney's badge. Mia. <laughs> Wow, this badge brings back a ton of memories, doesn't it? I would love to stand with you at the defense table one more time. Mia. Unfortunately, she can't because Maya's the defendant in this case. Check it out, it's the guide map! It's your house! Would you take a look at this? Do you have anything more useful? There's no time left. Try to show me something that will help you in tomorrow's trial. Could... nope. <laughs> She's like, no, Phoenix, you're stupid. No. <laughs> Wait, try the Magatama. I'll get there, yeah. I can't see Maya when I'm in her body like this. But I can tell she's very lonely and sad. Take good care of her, will you, Phoenix? Y yes, I will. I'm sorry, but I don't remember who that is. She's really grown up. I left Karain Village a long time ago. She probably doesn't remember a thing about me by now. Aww. Yeah, she probably left when she was like a baby. I'm afraid I may have caused Aunt Morgan a lot of stress. When I left Karain, I left Maya in my aunt's care. And now something like this happens. Hey, y'all! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't care. <laughs> I've seen this man somewhere before. He had a strange name, and I'm almost sure I've questioned him before. I remember him making a, t making a show of confidence at first. But after five minutes, he breaks down, and you end up feeling bad for the poor guy. Yep, that's exactly it. I'm sorry. And I'm nope. sorry. What do you think? Alright, you said Magatama? I want to see that. This is Maya's Magatama, isn't it? Why do you have it? Maya gave it to me, but... I see. This is something very important to me. Take good care of it, okay? She looks at it with such a soft look in her eyes. Okay, actual black key. Yep. Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, uh, the key. 
It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. Thanks, Pearl, for picking it up! <laughs> this key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It con uh, contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That's enough. But, but, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who? Who could have... Well, goodbye. At the time, I didn't know. But this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. Huh? What the? Whoa! M mia What? What's wrong? That's right. Only I can see the Cyclox. I would not have expected her to lie as a spirit. Which means Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under a lock and key even from me? What in the world is going on? Well, this is really cool, and I'm very intrigued, which is good. That's it for this episode of a Phoenix Wright Justice for All, everybody. Thanks for watching. Oh, tune in for the trial tomorrow. I guarantee there's already going to be some what? Okay. <laughs> and we get to meet the new Von Karma. <laughs> I wonder it's if he not, likes the spot. I don't think he's going to have a deep voice. I don't I don't know what the heck <laughs> If he's expect. a 13-year-old kid, then probably not. Some 13-year-olds have their voices <laughs> changed really quickly. <laughs> I went to Westmont Junior High School. <laughs> <laughs> that would yeah. be ridiculous. Anyhow, have a great day, everybody, and God bless.